Hey peeps, welcome back to Bird Nest Studio. If you're not following me on Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube, just get to it so you can get the latest DIY projects. Today we're getting our Christmas booze on with these adorable reindeer and Santa hat wine corks. They're going to be the perfect gift for your boozy best friend this Christmas. These are super easy and fun to make. Okay, so first, you're going to want to hop on over to my website and sign up to download the free SVG for this project for your Cricut or craft cutting machine. So you're going to need uh, this for the project, and I'll leave a link below. So let's get our supplies together. You can pause this video and take a screenshot. Uh, for the reindeer cork, I use craft foam sheets by Creatology, and they cost about 99 cents from Michaels. And then for the Santa hat cork, I used uh, the 12 inch by 18 inch premium felt, also by Creatology from Michaels, and the color's red and white. And these cost about $1.99 each. I picked up a few of these stemless wine glasses from Dollar Tree, but you can really use any glass you want. These are a buck each and they're super cute and they're actually very big. I then went to Amazon and bought these corks. Um, they came in a pack of 30 for about 10 bucks and I'll leave a link below to all of those products as well. Okay, let's get to making. We're gonna make the lid cover, uh, the cork holder first. So I just used some chipboard, again, from the back of just a notebook that I had. Um, again, you can use any color card stock you want. Uh, this is just what I liked. First, just place the card stock on your cutting mat, load it into your Cricut, and select the correct cardboard or card stock uh, material setting. I put mine on custom. I have a Cricut Explorer Air 2 here that I'm using and I'm using the deep cut blade too because of the thicker chipboard that I'm using. Now let's jump over to Cricut Design Space and since we've already downloaded the free SVG project file from my website we need to start a new project and click on upload. Find our file and we are going to hide the pieces. We aren't going to cut on the chipboard, so hide the brown reindeer pieces. I'm moving the red piece over and then duplicating the gray pieces because we're gonna make two corks, the reindeer and the Santa hat. You'll see later what the red piece is for. I'm assuming you know how to use your Cricut for the most part, so we're just going to weld these pieces all together so they'll cut all at once. Then we're going to hit Make It and select your material. I'm selecting a custom flat cardboard material. And setting my pressure to more since this is a thick material that I'm using. So again, I'm using a deep cut blade and now we just hit go. Once all that's cut, we're gonna weed it out. Here's a little trade trip. Use a fingernail file to sand any rough edges down. This holder is made to fit the Dollar Tree stemless wine glasses. So if you aren't using those, you may need to adjust your circle and these long rectangles a bit in Cricut Design Space to fit your own glass opening. So we're basically just gonna make a ring with a rectangle piece that will fit a little loose inside the glass opening like this. Then glue it with the school glue, and I just use a Dollar Tree clip to hold it together while it dries, and then clip off the excess. Mm -hmm. 
Now let's take the round piece and this piece will just lay on top of the glass like this. This is where the cork will be held. Push the slits down in the middle. Now take the ring and place it as centered as you can on the bottom of the circle and just use the school glue and go around the ring on the inside to glue it together. This is what it should look like after it dries. Then make the other one the same way and you should have two of these. Okay, now that we have the cork holders made, let's make the reindeer cork. Get your light brown craft foam sheet and put it on your cutting mat. Then load it into your Cricut and set to custom material. If you have a Cricut maker with a rotary cutting blade, you could totally use felt instead of the craft foam. But I don't have one and my Cricut doesn't cut felt very well, so I'm just using the craft foam. Okay, let's jump back over to the Cricut Design Space and hide all the stuff that we cut out for the lid cork holder. And now we just need to show the two reindeer pieces. There's a little small circle and then the antlers. Attach those two pieces together and hit make it. Set your material to craft foam. I'm using my deep cut blade still, but keeping the pressure at default this time. And then hit go. So one thing you want to keep in mind with the craft foam, the rollers from the Cricut machine will show up on, on the top, uh, as you can see here. So I make sure the side that had the price tag on it points up so I know that that's like the ugly side of the foam. And we'll actually use the back side as the front so we don't get those crease marks. We did all out and we're ready to assemble. You can see here the roller marks, so I'm just gonna mark the ugly side here with a tiny little X, so I know that that's the side I wanna glue, so the roller marks won't show on the front. First, just take some hot glue and glue the small circle to the wider end of the cork. The circle should overlap a little bit, just try to center it as much as possible. Then take your antler and put a hot glue on the ugly side and wrap it around. Glue it down and cut off the excess. And we're done. Put it inside the lid holder and you're finished. You could go a step further and maybe add some gold vinyl on the front with some cute little holiday saying like, make spirits bright or something like that. Now let's make the Santa hat cork. Okay, so I told you my Cricut doesn't cut felt very well. So instead of using the Cricut, we're gonna do this the old fashioned way, just with a pair of scissors. But if you have a Cricut maker with a rotary fabric blade, then by all means, you're welcome to cut this piece out uh, using that. Um, earlier, we cut this shape with the chipboard. So I'm gonna use it just as a template to cut my felt. This is just a really simple shape, so it's not very difficult. So I'm putting the template at the corner of my red felt, tracing it with a pencil, and then cutting it out just with scissors. Thank you. 
I also cut out a long rectangle about half of an inch high by five inches wide in the white felt, just using scissors too. Now making sure that the pencil marks will be on the inside of the hat and not gonna show, I'm gonna face the pencil mark side up. Then we're going to fold both sides into a cone shape and hot glue it together like this. And Lord have mercy, be careful here. Your fingers are mighty close to that hot glue. Just hot glue the wide side of the cork into the hat opening. Then take the white felt strip and glue it all the way around the base of the hat, making sure that the bottom lines up with the bottom of the hat. Finish it with gluing a little white pom-pom on top and you're done. So cute, perfect gift for my besties. I might add some vinyl on the front of this one that says Jingle Juice or something. These are really cute and totally customizable. Maybe you could use green felt for the hat instead of the red and put a little jingle bell on top for like a little elf look. Maybe change it up. Let me see your creations. So tag me on social media. I'd love to see what you make out of this. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today and I'll see y'all next time. Peace out, peeps.